सितारा है My name is Sitar Singh Sitara. I was born in Fagwada in Punjab, India. I think I was born on the 17th of August 1939. My father's name was Sardar Dharam Singh. My mother's name was Channan Kaur. I was born in a Sikh household. Fuada is a town in Punjab. Nangal Khera is a small village next to it. I was born there. At the age of two, I lost both my eyes. After three to four years, I went to a doctor in Gojra, Pakistan. He examined my eyes and said that there was no cure. I was soon totally blind. बाद में बिल्कुल ब्लाइंड हो गया था तो उसके बाद फिर मैं म्यूजिक सीखना शुरू किया। I then began to learn music. I was lucky to come back to Fagwara where I began my lessons. I was then ten years old. I learnt for seven years. My teacher was Professor Darshan Singh. मेरे साथ जी संगीत प्रोफेसर दर्शन सिंह कोमल सन when I first went to him, I asked if I could take lessons. He said, what will you learn? I said, I will learn music and singing. He said, this is difficult for you because you are blind. And I said, blind people can also learn. You are blind as well. He then accepted me. I learned with him for seven years. I then had to go to Africa because my father lived there. So my mother along with my brothers and sisters all moved to Africa in 1957. Gradually, I began to teach music. Being from the Sikh community, I mostly served in Gurudwaras, singing and reciting religious texts. That was my profession. Around the age of 18 to 19, I started performing on the radio, mostly either singing or playing the violin or tabla along with the other artists. I generally sing or play the violin or tabla. I sing religious songs. I sometimes also sing ghazals. I was married in Africa in 1965. I had a British passport and I moved to England in 1972. Gradually, I started teaching music here in the Gurudwaras and the students started developing an interest. Once there was a Sikh devotional music competition in Slough where there were two other blind musicians in our group, Gyani Surjit Singh and Ranjit Singh Mutalashi. We performed in a ten and a half beats rhythmic cycle. The people cheered and appreciated our music and that's how we began to be recognized. Today, I teach about 200 to 300 students. There are a few blind, but mostly sighted students, aged as young as 8 years and up to the age of 25. Blind musicians don't generally notate anything. We memorize everything. Indian music does not involve much sight reading, it is more practical. I then thought that we must do something for the blind in India. Four of us got together, two of whom are no more. We have opened an ashram in Fagwada, Punjab, India, which has been running for 30 years now. 
At the moment, there are about 150 to 200 blind students. We teach them music, braille, cane work, and whatever may be useful to them. Once they are qualified, they get work. Every year, about 15 to 20 students get employed. That's how they become independent. Twice a year, we arrange operations for the eyes. There are also girls among the students. Once they are educated, we arrange for them to get married. Next week, two or three girls are getting married. We find blind grooms for the girls. Now I am above 80 years old. I think I have done enough. When my students or friends request me, I don't mind playing or singing. I am classically minded. If you listen to this music peacefully, it will open your mind and touch your heart. Time and again, one may come across gatherings where people are not interested in the music. They make their noise and we make our music. One cannot expect to find attentive audiences every time. Even in that crowd, there may be people who want to listen, but they don't know how to sit down and appreciate. Music is a remedy. It is food for the soul. I advise everyone to love music, persist with it, try to learn it and keep practicing. You will find in it a great remedy, a fulfillment of the soul.